Hey, I'm back and I'm just walking around. This is, I am in a parking lot. This is like the parking lot I always go to um, just to do my walking and thinking and praying and YouTube listening, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, so I figured I would do one here. Um, anyway, I just kind of figured, this is like a super random video, just a heads up. I figured I would just kind of catch up with you guys because I haven't really said much since my, um, kind of off the cuff, I haven't really said much since my video where I was talking about making Aliyah and I haven't really updated anyone since then so I figured I would do that here and the train is moving very fast um, literally after that video I that, that that very afternoon I started my Aliyah application by the next day I was done and I submitted it um, it was super easy by the way um, and the whole process through Nefesh Benefesh um, here for North America has been really amazing um, right after that like few days later I got a call from Nefesh Benefesh um, with somebody just kind of like intaking answering any questions I had initially and just kind of processing me through um, very shortly after that I got a call from my um, I had a call with my Aliyah advisor who kind of did the same thing walked me through the process answer any questions and since then I've been on sort of the next stage which is uploading all my documents my birth certificate um, FBI fingerprints like all that kind of stuff um, very straightforward stuff um, I don't really know what I was expecting in terms of the process, but it's been super fluid and easy and that's been amazing. Um, and right now I am basically almost done. I am just waiting for one letter from my rabbi. And once I have that, I can pop that over. And then the next stage is that they'll assign my case into the um, Jewish agency in New York. And I will have to present my actual documents to them to show them they're all real. And after that, they basically process your visa and ship you off to Eretz Israel. So that's basically it, which is super exciting. Um, <laughs> but since then, it, I've basically been going through a whirlwind, a whirlwind of emotions. And truly that first week, I was just like a nervous wreck. Honestly, like the first two weeks, I've, I've been a nervous wreck. Um, and I feel like I've just been kind of tapping into the crazy energy of the three weeks and Tisha B'Av and all that stuff. So I kind of blame it a little bit on End of Tammuz of energy. Um, but yeah, I was just all over the place and I just went through the craziest anxiety, just the biggest fears, um, everything from the smallest things like I don't even know how to use a post office in Israel and just feeling super helpless over silly little, you know, mundane things like that to all the big stuff like Parnassah, like how am I gonna make money? Um, what am I gonna do over there? Like where am I gonna live? And just how am I gonna fit in? What kind of community will I live in? And just asking all those big questions. And it's just been a whirlwind of emotions, like I said. And I'm not quite still done like over it yet. Um, but at this point I've, it's sat with me long enough um, that relatively that I feel like I'm a little more used to it now. Um, honestly, at first, just the idea of living abroad was just freaking me out. I've never lived abroad before. Um, I've basically lived in Massachusetts my whole life. I lived in Kansas very randomly um, for like a year and a half, year or so. And, but aside from that, I've been in the same state that I was born and raised in. So um, I'm just, you know, I'm kind of a scaredy cat when it comes to moving. So it's just been really overwhelming um, from that regard. And of course, like not being in touch, you know, near my family and just just being out there by myself is really, really freaky in a sense. So, yeah, I've been just going through all that um, and other things I've been thinking about is just really and this is where it gets exciting is like the reason I'm going, it's all purely religious and being in Israel and it's it comes from that that place of religion and spirituality and feeling like I'm kind of just going home so there's that whole calling that whole feeling that that's where I belong um, in other words it's not because I want a different type of life it's not because I don't like my life here it's not because I just think Israel is a cool place to live like I love America I love being here I am very comfortable here so you know it's really religious reasons are purely why I'm going um, and you know, and I, I do love Israel and all that stuff, but it, I love it from a place of spirituality essentially. So, um, anyway, that being said, um, just thinking about it from that perspective, that's what's got me really excited. Um, and as bittersweet as it is to leave my, my home, my original home here, um, I'm super excited to live in a religious community for the first time in my life, because even here in Massachusetts, I've lived in Boston, the Boston area, 
Right now I live around like 30, 40 minutes outside of Austin and I have not been around a Jewish community really. Um, since I moved away from my shul, which, you know, I used to be able to walk to, I'm now fully out of reach. So that has, you know, for better or worse, coincided with the whole COVID era. So it's not like I've been the only one who's been a little bit out of touch. So in that sense, it kind of blended in with all the stuff that's happening. But um, yeah, I mean, other than like, you know, a few touch points, I'm really just kind of on an island essentially. And um, anyway, that aside, I've never been part of an Orthodox community, a religious community. Um, and that's something I've really been yearning for really my whole Jewish life, like for like the last, oh gosh, like 16, 16 plus years now. Um, and it just like, kind of feels like a homecoming, but at the same time, I'm also very much anticipating that I might not perhaps be totally welcome initially, who knows? Um, and you know, I'm just trying to figure out my place in Israel, figuring out my place like in Israeli society, essentially. Um, and I'm super, I'm super against labels. I'm super against denominations and sects and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I've found that I've really had to think more and more about those things as I'm considering what community I actually want to plant myself into to make sure that I'm really getting into the version, the, the facet of Israel that really makes sense for me. Um, so I've been looking at different like political parties, different movements, different, you know, different sort of, you know, gradations of orthodoxy and trying to figure out where I belong in that whole world. And I still don't know. <laughs> I'm basically still not sure. Um, I started reading about, I never heard this term. You always hear like Haredim, Haredi, ultra orthodox, but I came across this term called Hardal, which I had never heard of a Hardal Jew, which is somewhere like, it's kind of like a modern Orthodox, but religious Zionist, Datiliumi kind of hybrid is my understanding. Um, something along that world. But when I read the description, I was like, that, that totally sounds like what I think and like what I believe. Um, but then like, there's certain things that I probably wouldn't be a Hardal person. Like, I don't know. So I'm just like trying to figure out where the heck I'm going to fit in um, and fit in as much as I can fit in, I guess. Um, and yeah, that's kind of like some of the stuff that's going on. Um, I'm also just like really, really whittling down my belongings. Um, I mentioned in another video that I have really been going for the past couple years now on this like total minimalist, like purging cycle. Like every few months I will, will whittle down my stuff even more and more and just get rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, I just, I have like, I used to live in a one, one bedroom apartment, so I couldn't have that much stuff, but I had a ton of stuff, um, as I think most, most of us Americans tend to do. Um, I just, you know, makeup drawer full of all sorts of stuff I didn't use, like clothes I didn't, still had the tags on, like that kind of thing. Um, and I got rid of, initially got rid of like a good 80% or so uh, of my belongings. And since then I've continued to whittle it down. And at this point, um, just looking at how, you ship stuff to Israel and stuff like I'm a single person like I'm not moving with a family and furniture and all sorts of stuff for the kids or whatever so like it just doesn't make sense for me to um, get a shipping container that's just like way too much space like I frankly don't even have enough space to fill even half a container honestly um, so I'm just basically kind of thinking yeah I've basically decided that it makes most sense for me to just get all my stuff my all my belongings down to the point of like two or three suitcases, like essentially what I can bring onto the LL flight, like going there, and that's gonna be my moving. So I'm not bringing any furniture, any appliances, any stuff like that. I'm not shipping anything. Um, and I will keep some stuff at my friend's house, fortunately, so that I'll kind of like, every time I come back, like I'll bring a little more a little bit, um, but more or less, I'm gonna kind of just get my stuff down to a few suitcases, which has always been like my minimalist dream to be able to have like, couple suitcases worth of stuff because I think we all kind of I know I definitely um, tend toward excess so it's been kind of like an ongoing practice so um, I've been working on that a lot and <clears throat> like yesterday I got a rid of a bunch more clothes even though I thought I don't have that much clothes I still have more to get rid of and I'm just purging and so that's been super fun and really exciting because I'm really like feeling the exciting energy of moving and the exciting energy of um, just the fresh start and all that stuff. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And speaking of clothes too, sorry, this is like totally all over the place, but um, so speaking of clothes, I have also been thinking about Sniut and how to kind of 
where I'm gonna land when it comes to being in Israel. So um, I've been thinking of living somewhere either between Sfat or Jerusalem. And either way, I ultimately wanted to integrate myself into a more religious community. Um, so that being said, I'm you know, aware that my snoot has, is going to have to be you know, reflective of that. Um, I think basically I'm, I'm there, except I do wear short sleeves. So I've just, I've been kind of like, I don't know if I'm just gonna give up short sleeves, if that's something that the community I'll be in is not going to be cool with. Um, won't change my views on short sleeves, but it's not the biggest deal for me. So I don't feel like I'm like sacrificing my sense of self or anything, you know, anything deep like that. Um, by not having short sleeves, it's just kind of a comfort comfort thing with the heat and stuff. So I've been looking for um, light fabric long sleeve shirts. Um, I got a really good one yesterday um, on Amazon. It was actually super duper cheap too. It was on sale and I got it for like 10 bucks. So <laughs> I was psyched about that. Um, so I'm just, I'm just trying to like find different, um, like longer pieces that I'll be comfortable in and stuff. And, um, you know, I have all my long skirts. I have plenty of that and I think I'm good there, but, uh, I don't know. Sorry. I'm just all over the place. So that's the kind of stuff. And that's like a little window into my mind right now. I'm just like thinking about all these different things, um, in terms of moving and I'm trying to get there ASAP. Like my magic wand wish dream, <laughs> please Hashem dream is to be there before Rosh Hashanah, which is pretty fast, but hey, it's been, you know, crazier things have happened. Um, I think it's possible. And I heard uh, from somebody on Reddit who was saying that they basically called the Jewish agency like every day for a week. And then they were just basically so annoying that they're just like, all right, we'll just, well, they, they processed his application pretty quickly. So I don't know if that's possible. Um, I don't know if that's really something I would do, but uh, you know, basically it, it seems like it, you know, can be done sooner than the four to six month projected timeline that Nefesh Benefesh tends to give. Um, so it's very variable, I guess. So, um, I mean, I need to figure out where I'm going to live though. I was really, really leaning into Svat and something just keeps calling me about Svat. It just feels like that's kind of like my kind of people. They have a strong breast love community there, which I'm super into. Um, I feel like yeah, I feel like Breslov is kind of like my lane a little bit, but I don't know because I've never actually been around Breslov people um, and communities, so who knows? Um, and yeah, I was looking into it for a bit, but there are no good apartments there. I just, I couldn't find anything, um, you know, and I'm really start like I'm going there on like with no money basically. Um, so I'm trying to figure out where the most appropriate place is to sort of build roots. Um, and I don't know, at this point, I'm kind of going back, leaning to Jerusalem. I mean, that's ultimately where I want to be. Like, that's where I want to, you know, live and die, essentially. Um, so that kind of feels like it's a little more practical. It's, it's definitely more practical. Like, I won't be off on the beaten path or I think that's how it goes. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I still need to figure that out. That's kind of like the big thing right now for me to figure out the living situation. And that's kind of it. I think that's all the like that's kind of like offloading all the stuff that's on my mind um yeah finding a rabbi finding the right community all that stuff will be super important as well but that kind of um you know I've, i'll kind of i'll just i'll figure that out i guess somehow i don't really know how but i'll figure it out um i think it starts with where i'm going to live so i can kind of start from a practical place and from there i will um, see what communities are around me within you know walking distance and such so that's about it um yeah this is super random but i did want to give you guys that elia update i'm super excited i'm like nervous excited i'm more excited now than nervous before i was like a ball of nerves um but right now i'm just really psyched and i really want to get there um i'm gonna miss being here i'm gonna miss a lot of things about home for sure and that's been you know that's not going away either but um, I just know this is right. I know this is definitely the time in life that it's right. Like there's just, you know, I haven't looked back since I said it in that second to last video or whatever it was where I mentioned I wanted to make Aliyah. Like it just feels like this is for sure, for sure the right thing for me to do. And I hope you guys will come along with me, join me, come into Israel. <laughs> uh, the water's fine. I think like this is the time to do it. I really, really think so. Um, you know, I mean, have you guys seen all this stuff with like, just the world is crazy right now. Like, 
you know, at first it was just COVID and just COVID. It was COVID and that was, you know, pretty, pretty, you know, shocking. Um, and it's really taken, taken over the world. But now you see all of these floods all around the world. It's not just Europe. There's been flooding in like China. I've seen some crazy flooding in China, all over Europe, even like in the United States here. Um, it just, there's, you know, something's happening, you know, for sure. This is definitely the time. And there's just so many signs that are really indicating that it's time to go home. So I hope you guys will uh, join me there and I hope we'll all be there soon. So that's it. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for sticking with my kind of uh, random mishmash of thoughts in my head right now over Aliyah. But uh, wish me luck as I proceed and hopefully I'll be going there very, very soon. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Shalom Aleichem. I just dropped. I just dropped. Oh Lord, here we go again. I just drop, 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 drop. I just drop.